Welcome to Solid Camp Professor. I'm Sydney, your Solid Camp Professor, and in this session, we'll be showing you another example of how HSS can be used on a typical 2.5D part where only certain operations must use HSS. If we take a look at this part, you can see this is a basic prismatic part where all the parts, all the machining here can be done and has been done using 2.5D, except for this particular area over here, these surfaces over here. We'll take a look at what the operator has done in order to do these surfaces, and then we'll actually do it ourselves just to show you how easy it is to be done. What he's done here is he actually used the option of parallel cuts constant Z in HSS, choosing these surfaces over here to be machined on, and the tool that was used was an 8 millimeter end mill with a 5 0.5 millimeter radius on the tip. If we take a look at the simulation, you'll see that the tool pass worked exactly on those surfaces, exactly the way he wanted it to work. And now we'll go through these steps, showing you how easy it actually is to program. We'll start the operation of HSS, and we'll choose parallel cuts, constant Z. In our geometry, we'll choose these three surfaces over here, and the tool will be using the 8 millimeter bullnose tool with a 0.5 millimeter radius on the corner itself. In our toolpath parameters, we'll be using a maximum step over of 0.2 millimeters going back and forth in a zigzag motion. And let's just do save and calculate at this point. Now you'll note that the toolpath, as it goes along the part itself, when it gets to the end, it goes up to the clearance level, and also when it gets to the gaps, it goes to up to the clearance level. All we have to do for this is simply go into our links and change both my large gaps to go directly to the next area over here so it doesn't jump all the way up to clearance level. And in my link area, also for the large moves, also go direct. Now when we do save and calculate, and we'll take again a look at our simulation. You'll see now that the toolpath goes exactly where we want it to work on that surface itself. And this was done within a few small, easy steps. Thank you for joining us in SolidCamp Professor. Take care and have a nice day.